Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hilda L. Brown and today I bring you a breaking news from the United States of America. Donald Trump has just announced the death of his first wife, Ivana Trump. Ivana Trump died at the age of 73. And Donald Trump has three children with this particular first wife. We have Donald Trump Jr., we have Eric Trump and Ivanka Trump. Well, Ivana Trump was born in Czech Republic, 1949. Then when she got married to Donald Trump, they both had these three children and they were living together happily until Donald Trump left her for a new, you know, side chick. Let me put it that way. So this woman died just like one hour ago, today the 14th of july 2022 and before her death she has had a very you know good relationship with donald trump after their divorce they were both taking care of their children the woman confessed in a video that donald trump was a very good father as in he stood up for his family financially but he never had the time to spend with the children he was the one making all the big deals, you know, he was a businessman, so he didn't have time. But this does not mean that Ivana Trump did not work also. She worked as an executive in Donald Trump's business empire. She was assigned the CEO of Donald Trump's castle. She also helped in, you know, decorating the interior of the hotel. She was an athlete. She had um, her own clothing line. I mean, she has a lot of uh, managerial skills and all that. Mm -hmm. So she was a very hardworking woman. And her joy was her three children because she put in all her time and effort to make sure that they were well-behaved, disciplined, and be the successful people that they are today in the world. Her husband or ex-husband, Donald Trump, was very busy making big deals and opening businesses here and there why she was the one who did all the parenting job as a matter of fact ivana trump told abc news that i'll just read it in quote no matter how busy i was i had breakfast with my children every day i sat with them at dinner every night and helped them with their homework i loved algebra before going out in a Versace gown to a rubber chicken charity event, Ivana Trump wrote in her memoir, Raising Trump. The kids and I celebrated, traveled, and grieved together. Our bond was and is our most valuable possession, she said. So you see, she was the one who actually did all the parenting, as I just told you. Ivana Trump added that, even though she was the one who did all the parenting, Donald Trump was very supportive to his family. She also said, Donald Trump was not that kind of a dad that would go to the Central Park with his kids to play baseball. But then, he communicated with his children very well, especially when they turned 18 years, because he started talking business with them and showing them the way of life. So, all in all, Donald Trump was not there at home to do all the normal things that mothers do or that parents have to do in disciplining their children, but he was there for them at an adult age. Well, Donald Trump and Ivana Trump got married in 1977, and by 1992, they got divorced because Donald Trump was dating a lady called Mala who was supposed to be his second wife. So, Ivana Trump decided to leave the marriage because she could not take it anymore. We all know Trump when it comes to ladies. Now, let's get to know what led to the death of Ivana Trump. Let's try to understand if this is a natural death or something else was related to it. So, on the 14th of July 2022, by 12.30 p.m. U.S. time, the New York Police Department declared Ivana Trump dead. It is written that Ivana Trump was found unconscious and unresponsive at the bottom of a set of stairs in her apartment, according to police sources.
The police are investigating whether she fell and, if so, whether the fall contributed in any way to her death, the sources said. A medical examiner will determine her cause of death, police said. So as of now, we all know that she was found at the bottom of her stairs, but we don't know what actually happened. So we don't know if she fell accidentally or if someone else pushed her. But all we know is that Donald Trump has made the announcement. And it says in the papers, Donald Trump has announced the death at 73 of Ivana Trump, his first wife and the mother of his three oldest children, Donald Jr., Ivanka and Eric. In a post to his truth social platform, the former president said, I am very saddened to inform all of those that loved her, of which are many, that Ivana Trump has passed away at her home in New York City. That is what Donald Trump said today, the 14th of July 2022. I know it is hard to believe because Ivana Trump was a very strong woman. She was a survivor. She fled communism from um, the Czech Republic and she embraced the United States of America. She stood up to her family and she took care of her children like a real mother should. She taught her children compassion. She taught them to be disciplined and be determined in anything they do. She is going to be greatly missed by her mother, her three children, and 10 grandchildren. We all are going to miss you, Ivana Trump. In 2017, during an appearance in the Good Morning America show, Ivana Trump actually said a lot of things that, um, you know, made the public to laugh. For example, she said, I'm the first lady, okay? Well, I'll just play that video so that you all see and, um, you know, hear for yourself the things that she said concerning Donald Trump. From the president to his first wife this morning, Ivana Trump, making headlines. She's pulling back the curtains on their story marriage, the messy divorce. She's got a new tell-all book, Raising Trump. And she sat down with none other than our own Amy Robach. This was pretty eye-opening. It you. certainly was. We all know that Ivana Trump is the mother of President Trump's three oldest children. And in her book, she does not hold back. She opens up about everything from who she says raised Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric to what she thinks of her former husband now in the White House. She is the original Mrs. Donald Trump. At 28, the Czechoslovakian-born champion skier and model marrying up-and-coming real estate mogul Donald Trump, becoming half of New York's power couple and mother to Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric. Do you have a favorite picture here? It's hard to say, right? Hard to say. An affair between her husband and Marla Maples ended the marriage, making Ivana Trump the first member of the ultimate First Wives Club. And remember, what? Don't get mad. Get everything. How often do you two talk? Talk about once a 14 days. I have the direct number through White House, but I don't really want to call him there because Melania is there, and I don't want to cause any kind of jealousy or something like that because I'm basically first Trump wife, okay? <laughs> I'm first lady, okay? <laughs> In her new memoir, Raising Trump, Ivana goes back to the beginning when her children were young. What kind of a mother were you? I was very strict. But I was loving. I love my kids. You write, I believe the credit for raising such great kids belongs to me. Full yes. credit? Full credit. Donna was on the telephone making the deals. He was loving father, don't get me wrong. And he was a good provider. But he was not a father which would take a stroller and go to the center park or go and play to baseball with them. It was only until they were about 18 year old. He could communicate with them because he could start to talk business with them before he really didn't know what conversation to strick with the little kids. At any point when you were married, did you ever think this man could be president one day? Yes. Donald got a letter from Reagan, President Reagan, and he said, you should run for president. And I think he could do it if there would not be a scandal. Marla Maples? Well, I don't want to talk about the showgirl. In fact, you don't even refer to her by name in your book. Yes. You just call her... Showgirl. The showgirl. Yes. Was that the final straw? Yes, that was. Because uh, if uh, 
Your trust is broken. Trust for me, it's everything. The two of you have remained good friends. How does that happen? Only during the divorce was brutal. He took the divorce as a business deal, and he cannot lose. He has to win. So it took about two years, and after the final situation was, um, was straightened up, we was just talk, and we are friends. Through a brutal campaign and tough first year in office, Ivana has offered advice. Sometimes I, I tell him to just not to speak that much, okay? And the uh, tweets are the tweets. And I think I don't disagree with him because he has uh, so much press against him. So if he says something, his words are going to be twisted immediately. If he tweets, the whole world can really get his mind and what is his in mind, and he can tell, tell it in his own words. When you read your book, you are all about kindness and manners. What about the fact that President Trump often uses Twitter to name call? Well, the people are different. You know, I, I like the good manners. How would you feel if your children put out tweets the way your ex-husband does? I really don't know. You know, because my kids were always very good and I never needed to discipline them. But if you heard your, your children call someone a loser, how would you feel about that? I think they sometimes call the people losers. If they are losers, they are losers. <laughs> okay? And I don't mind it. And she's also given support through controversies like that leaked Access Hollywood tape. He was not really disrespectful. He just jokes. Sometimes he said things which are silly. But joking about grabbing <laughs> women. Okay, well... That was one one instance, and I just wouldn't, I don't yeah. want to go into it. Did you ever talk to him about it? Not really, no. And the president's recent decision to end the DACA program. I'm immigrant myself, and uh, Donald is the building the wall. So I don't mind the immigrants and the wall, because you have to protect your borders. So do you support President Trump on what he wants to do with DACA? I really don't know. I would not send, probably, thousands and thousands of the kids which were born here. You know, but uh, it's it's very political and very confusing. So I, I really don't have an answer on that. And then there is Russia. Donna has absolutely nothing to do with Russia. OK, and if Russia hacked it, what it has to do with him? You know, he was running against Hillary Clinton and America voted and he won. OK, that's the end of it. I want to talk about Don Jr. because he has been caught up, so to speak, in this Russia investigation. Has he talked to you at all about that? I know he was not involved in any wrongdoing. Do you worry at all about Don Jr. and this Mueller investigation? Any concerns? I have zero concerns, because I know that he didn't do anything wrong. And as for criticism, Trump is reluctant to take advice. He listens. He's a good listener. Is he surrounded by anybody who will tell him you're wrong or that's not oh, right? absolutely. Ivanka is number one. All my kids are... You know, they, they're not afraid of him. A lot of people, they're afraid to criticize him. But my kids tell him exactly, you know, how they feel. And you take it or leave it. Sometimes he takes it, sometimes he leaves it, but he listens. Other than her kids, Ivana says her proudest accomplishment is her work ethic. She says when she met Donald, he was making $70,000 a year. And when she divorced him, he was a multi-billionaire. And she says she contributed to, quote, every aspect of of making Donald how successful he is. Raising Trump is out tomorrow. And she didn't ask the president for permission to write it, by the way. Yeah, she said she has a direct line to the White House, doesn't use it much because she said, I'm the first Mrs. Trump, I'm the first lady. That was interesting. She did say that. She said a lot. And the book is very interesting. She does not hold back. That's apparent. <laughs> All right, Amy, thank you. So, guys, as you just heard for yourself, Ivana Trump actually helped Donald Trump to become the person he is today. She said that when she got married to Donald Trump, he was earning just about $70,000 a year. But by the time she left him, he was earning more than five times of that money. So as you see, that is what this woman can do. And uh, she also mentioned to young girls that when they are leaving their husband, they should take everything. That is because she herself received over $14 million from Donald Trump when um, they got divorced. And she was receiving an extra of $650,000 for the upkeep of their three children per year. So as you see, she was a very rich and influential woman in the society, but she has kicked the bucket and her life is gone. Well, guys, if you think giving out this information is really important to you, please share it, subscribe to my channel and invite other people to watch also because information is power. Thank you guys for being with me and see you next time.